true, though. I know. That is not true. Well, you changed those laws. Ah. <laughs> you changed those laws around. What was the most you had? You know, what was the point when you were like, um, well, you know, when, kind of uh, okay, when I'm in a limo. Okay, I'll I tell you. No, I mean, we had a limo, but our limo picked up guests. Jim and I, uh, we both had a Mercedes. Yeah. And our, our Mercedes were rented. They were not, they were not bought. Right. They, were, they were rented, but we were still both driving one. And at that point, that was at that point, I believe, that I thought, I don't need this. So what did you do, sell the other Mercedes or well, give it away? Well, that, it was right at that point that PTL, we lost PTL, so we never had a chance to do anything about it. Coincidence, know? this is yeah, good. Yeah. God yeah. said, no, yeah. you won't have that Mercedes, and they took ah. it away. There's nothing wrong, it's, there's nothing wrong with having those things. But when those things have you, that's when it becomes wrong. Okay, where's the coffee cups? After PTL, which yeah. was praised the Lord, yes, the yes. congregation, mm -hmm. right? Then you went on and you made this thing called, or you didn't, but Jim and you did, mm -hmm. made this thing called Heritage USA, Heritage USA, which was, tell them. It's, Heritage USA was like a city. It was like a city. We had uh, lots of uh, beautiful hotels. We had a, a Main Street USA that looked like Disney World. We had uh, television studios. We had the upper room that we copied from Jerusalem. We had. I mean, was it like like you get on a resurrection roller coaster and so you die, be born, no, die, we, be born? No, we didn't. We didn't have uh, rides per se. We did have a huge water park, which was wonderful. Because I was thinking like you guys got on a crucifix. And no, 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 around. no, no, no. That's a people picture. No. Uh -uh. Oh, okay. It was, really we're glad. very normal people, believe it or not. You don't go like camel rides through the no, needle. No, no, but we did have camels there. We did, we did the, um, we did the uh, story of Christ, and we had camels, and we had sheep, and we had, we had, a, we had all the things that went along with the story of the uh, crucifixion of Jesus. We had it all there in a big amphitheater. Uh, we had people actually say, "If I died here, I would be happy." And we had several people that did die there and died happy, being where they wanted to be, which I thought was wonderful. So it was sort of like heaven on earth. It really was. It was. It was almost too good. Yeah. So you're the husband. Yes. The this husband. is. This is. I don't have to kiss him. You're the second husband. Yes. The next. Well, yes. the man behind Jim Baker. That's right. Hopefully a little, a little more kosher. <laughs> you know, it's kind of interesting because you're so perky now. You know that. I mean, it, you know, people want to know. You know that. That there, there was, were valleys. That there were valleys. Deep valleys. I would sit in a closet sometimes. And I would close the door because it was the only place I could go where my children wouldn't hear. And I would, I would cry so hard that my little dog that I used to have would run and hide under the clothes because I would cry so hard, asking God, why God, why? Why did this happen? And I went through about four years of real torture after we lost PT. I mean, terrible, terrible torture. But uh, thank God there, there, is, um, there is a way out, no matter how bad your life may be. There is a way out of the hurt, always. But did, did, you know, besides Jesus, then Betty Ford helped you too. I'll tell you what, I got on a little pill, and not, uh, this was long before, this was, um, I got on a little pill called Ativan. I know Ativan. I was afraid to fly. So I took Ativan, and that helped me to fly. Right. And uh, literally no fly. <laughs> no offense, Jesus, No, the no. pill was better. I had to have a little help. The pill was better. <laughs> What the, what the pill did for me, it was calm down my insides that were jumping so bad. You understand so that? So you're an addict is what you're saying. And so you saying. become an addict. I would rather face I'd love life to see you on drugs, Tammy, cold. because without drugs, you are a frightening woman. <laughs> <laughs> you still like to do your own booze and stuff, you know, clean the toilet. Oh, yeah, I do all the time. No. I sure do. I don't believe I you. I do. I clean all my own commodes. I wash all my... I have a dishwasher, of course. But I mean, I, I want I to my, see you cleaning I, your bathroom. I do all Let's my go own, wash the bathroom now. I do all my Get in the bathroom own, uh, now. I do all my own housework. Oh, yep. Now, everybody knows the tub has to be cleaned, right? Yeah. So, we put water on our... Tammy, you're in your stocking. And we get some good, good cleaning, which I don't have my cleaning stuff here. We'll but, get the cleaning but stuff. But I'll tell you... I'm a good cleaner, let me tell you. You are fantastic. I'm a good cleaner. I know Look at this clean. down go. Money hasn't stayed I'm this fast. Do you Faster like than the speed of lightning. You know, it's amazing how you could run this kind of empire and still have time to clean a bathtub. <laughs> It's an amazing, you're an amazing woman, Tammy oh, Faye. Oh, Ruby, thank you. You're the first woman who's ever told me that. No. <laughs> and you clean a mean tub. I clean a mean tub, I'll tell you. This tub, you'll be able to eat out of it when I'm finished No, I won't it. be eating out of it, Tammy, today. <laughs> you mean you don't want jello or anything like that No, the nothing. Tub. Okay. But you know, it's, you know, all this stuff that happens to you, you just, um... Well, I don't know what it is. I mean, you either are nuts <laughs> or, um, or, I don't know, you're blessed with something. Ruby likes an attitude, and, and you as, as much as we would like to, many times you can't change what is happening in your life. 
But if you change your attitude about what is happening in your life, then it, you can, it, that will bring true happiness. And so I've, I take a bad situation and I just change my attitude about it and I decide I'm going to make it work for me. Right. And so uh, that's basically what I do. It's an, all, it's an attitude change. I, a friend of mine wrote a little song that I really like and it's called If Life Hands You a Lemon, Start Making Lemonade. And I think that's probably it in a nutshell, if, if life hands you a lemon. You know, make lemonade, throw in some sugar. Is it a song time. of this? Yeah, it is a song. Yeah, it's one of the songs I do. See, my... after you hit that Diet Coke, you hit the <laughs> well, we'll hit that button now. We got the orchestra in the toilet, haven't we? Oh, Come no. On, Tammy. Ah, Tammy, sing. No. Come on, sing out, Louise. Uh, sing out, line. Louise. Who's Louise? Give us, <laughs> give us a song. Oh, uh, yeah. No, Tammy say. If life hands you a lemon, ah, you start making lemonade. If the heat of the day gets a little too hot, you just start thinking shame. You thank God for the situation, and you praise Him for the day He made. Oh, if life hands you a lemon, Ruby, start making lemonade. You know, we all get sidetracked just in making those plans of what we want to be and do. And you know, all too often, we don't even consult God about what He has in mind for me and you. Well, we plot and we scheme and we struggle and we fret, then we're amazed when we're pruned by God's blade. You know what He's trying to tell us is that when life hands us a lemon, turn that lemon into lemonade. When life hands you a lemon, oh, you start making lemonade. When the heat of the day gets a you just start thinking shame. You thank God for the situation, and you praise Him for the day He made. Oh, if life hands you a lemon, oh, you start making lemonade. Throw a little more sugar in. I like it a little sweeter. What about you? How about you? adorable. You could eat this woman up. <laughs>